Assalamu alaikum dear students I welcome you to the course of artificial intelligence and lecture number 10 first of all we will go through the previous lecture what we have done until now and based on that we will continue today's lecture so what we come to know that what is knowledge based agent what it means what kind of uh, features do we need for it then for that uh, we need some kind of uh, information to use it and how this information will be used from the world uh, or uh, environment we have different kind of environments as we studied in the earlier lectures and then we have different kind of uh, agents and for that agent we need a knowledge knowledge base system where we can keep the knowledge and then we can use this knowledge then we understand the example of uh, Wamp's World, uh, which was a computer game, and then we try to understand it, and then we were understanding how the logic is used there, how the information, the knowledge we have, we take out the logic out of it using uh, these uh, different kind of statements and then we try to understand how we will move from one place to another based on our logic because we need some kind of proof or we need to be sure from moving one from one uh, room to another room in case of Worms world so how we predict how we understand if we have some knowledge if we have a knowledge of uh, or, or for for a room uh, adjacent to uh, another room then for that case we need to understand how we will go to um, to take out the logic and then we understand syntax and semantics that uh, if we want to have uh, um, collections of symbols which represent a world then we call it its syntax and then if we take out the meaning out of it what actually it means and if we can summarize it then we call it that this is a semantics then we also understand mm, entailments uh, or entailments then we were looking how it is mm, going to help us for understanding between different syntaxes and then how to take out the semantics uh, we also understand logic as a uh, knowledge representative language what how many uh, kind of uh, uh, languages uh, do we need for representing a knowledge uh, knowledge base so we will also continue uh, from from the place where we left uh, in the previous lecture which is actually logic as a knowledge representative uh, language so what we will do today uh, we will understand logic and then uh, oh, how many languages there are and then uh, we will uh, try to understand propositional logic which is one kind of uh, uh, knowledge base language then we will see what's the pros and cons of propositional logic and we will also try to understand first order logic what it means and how it's different from propositional logic then uh, we will see what's the syntax of first order logic and the basic elements of it and then also we will try to understand atomic and complex sentences how we can generate it using first order logic and connection between mm, quantifiers we will use some quantifiers mm, in uh, first order logic and then we will uh, try to see what's the connection in between first of all we need to understand that for uh, agent we can only get information or knowledge which the user is going to provide so the reason reasoning agent often gets its knowledge about the fact of the world as a sequence of logical sentences and must draw a conclusion only from them without independent access to the world so in this point it's very clear that whatever agent will understand will be through user what user is giving as a sentence then the agent will take out the semantics out of it or what the 
the information, what's the basic uh, mm, facts inside this, uh, this sentence and this will be uh, understand and it can be then perform some action out of it. Thus it's very important that the agent reasoning is sound. Sound in here means that it should be stable, it should be very clear and understandable. So it can be uh, in, a, in a level of uh, perfection that it can take out the complete uh, understanding of uh, any sentence. So uh, here if we see uh, we have a world and a user is giving uh, this uh, syntaxes, uh, sentences which is actually uh, knowledge to our agent and then the agent can take the conclusion out of it and then we it can see what uh, the actual meaning of this sentence is. So if it is complete and we uh, the agent can do this uh, very easily then we can say that this um, uh, method that we are using for knowledge base that we can make a knowledge base using uh, the same structure. How many languages uh, there are for knowledge base? So there is a propositional logic which we will understand today inshallah what it is. Uh, there are or how many mm, uh, things there are related with it so or what's the understanding of it it says that it, there are only facts in the world in the environment and these facts are going to be used uh, these uh, facts can be true or false or it can be unknown then there is a first order logic which says that there are not only facts in the world there are facts objects and its relations and operations and uh, it can also be understand in that way and it can be true, false or it can be unknown. Then uh, uh, there are other uh, uh, languages. Uh, we will see um, a few of it. Uh, but today inshallah we will discuss propositional logic and first order logic. So first of all we need to understand what logic is. We can also think of logic as an algebra for manipulating only two values true and false so what we can say logic is that it's it is exactly working like algebra it can be either true or it can be either false logic ko simple is andaz mein dekh sakte hain ke hamare paas ya to uska jawab theek hoga ya galat hoga hum kehte hain ki logical answer hai logical baat ho rahi hai iska matlab ye hai ke hum हमारे पास कोई भी सिचुएशन होगी कोई भी कोई भी एक्शन हो रहा होगा कोई भी सीन होगा तो हम ये कहेंगे कि ये सीन या तो ठीक है या गलत है तो अगर हम एग्जैक्टली exactly इस मीनिंग्स में जवाब दे रहे हैं तो हम ये कह सकते हैं कि ये किस्म की लॉजिक है लॉजिकल वे है जो हमें बिल्कुल बाइनरी डिसीजन दे रहा है कोई कोई दो क्लासेज में हमें डिसीजन दे रहा है तो हम ये कहेंगे कि ये लॉजिकल है वी विल कवर नाव propositional logic which is the simplest kind so it's very easy and easily understandable uh, what propositional logic is we why we use it because we need to know a kind of uh, we need to make a knowledge base where we can save where we can keep our uh, our reasoning our uh, uh, world information and then based on that we can perform some action so it can be uh, used uh, for making some decisions. So propositional logic consists of the logical value true and false. You, we can take as a T and F. Proposition sentences which are atomic, what it means? They must be treated as indivisible, indivisible. It's not going to be many of it so if it is atomic then it should be only one so you cannot make subdivision of it which is no internal structure it has uh, uh, only one like if we have only one uh, value to compare with another value so we we will not uh, divide it so we have only one compare with 
uh, two or something like this. It can be even single value, unary operation we can also perform. But the point is that whatever the sentence is, you cannot divide it into sub-sentences. So it's always fixed. Hum jo bhi sentence lenge is mein, propositional logic mein, wo humare paas ek sentence hoga jisko hum division uski nahi kar sakte. Hum ye nahi keh sakte ki iska matlab ye bhi ho sakta hai, iska matlab ye bhi ho sakta hai. Hum jo sentence lenge, uski meaning ek hi hogi, wo divide nahi ho sakega. Uske sub classes nahi ban sakenge. Operations hum kon kon se perform kar sakte hain. Just a minute, I have to tell you that in this point, having a single logical value, either true or false, it can be that it is a single value, either true or false. It means that we are not necessary that we compare two values. We can take one value. Which can we do in operations? Both are unary and binary. We can take any sentence on any sentence. या यूनरी ऑपरेशन परफॉर्म कर सकते हैं या बाइनरी सो आइडर कैन अप्लाई व्हेन अप्लाई टू अ लॉजिकल वैल्यू यील लॉजिकल वैल्यूज सो इट कैन आल्सो गिव अस अ लॉजिकल वैल्यू द यूजुअल ऑपरेटर्स आर एंड और नॉट एंड इंप्लाइज सो दिस आर द नॉर्मल ऑपरेटर्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इन अ प्रोपोजिशनल लॉजिक हाउ इट इज नाउ so the propositional logic syntax, how we will use it for uh, knowledge base. Propositional logic is a simplest logic, illustrated basic idea. What's the basic idea in this situation? A proposition symbol P1, P2, etc. are sentences. So if we take P1 as a uh, propositional sentence 1 and propositional sentence 2, then uh, how we can use it if s is a sentence then s not is a sentence negation not so if if s belongs to mm, any proposition or uh, a sentence then we can say that s not is also a sentence this means that uh, if even we take a negation of it it's also a sentence so this is a unary operation. If S1 and S2 are sentence, then S1 and S2 is also a sentence. Conjunction, we can use also the, the operation or we also call it and. Hum dekhte hain yaha par ke humare paas agar sentences aate hain, to agar wo sentence hai, jo के लॉजिक की बेस पे है प्रोपोजिशनल लॉजिक की बेस पे है और वो क्या है वो एक फैक्ट है वो एक हकीकत है तो अगर हम उसकी नेगेशन भी ले लें तब भी वो हकीकत ही रहेगी तब भी वो सेंटेंस ही रहेगी सिर्फ हमने उसकी नेगेशन ले ली और अगर सेम इसी तरह हमारे पास अगर एक सेंटेंस है एस वन और दूसरा सेंटेंस है एस तो इन दोनों को कम्बाइन करने के बाद भी हम ये कहेंगे कि ये फिर भी सेंटेंस ही है ठीक है इफ सेंटेंस वन एंड इफ एस वन एंड एस टू आर सेंटेंस देन एस वन और एस टू इज अ सेंटेंस डिस जंक्शन और सो इन दिस सिचुएशन वी आर यूजिंग और ऑपरेटर सो इफ एस वन इज सेंटेंस so for sure S2 is also a sentence then we can use or in between as operator. So if S1 and S2 are sentences then what S1 implies to S2? It's also possible. In this situation if S1 and S2 are sentence then S1 bidirectional to S2. So it can be in both direction. We will go through some example and then you, you will uh, understand it more easily. So what we are going to do, we will make a table of it. Logic like arithmetic has operation which applies to one, two or more values, opponents. So if we are using propositional logic in that case, it's like arithmetics and then we will make a truth table of it. So we can apply it on one or two or more opponents. So uh, this is very basic uh, understanding of uh, mm, arithmetics. 
a truth table list the result for each possible argument of opponents order is important x opponent y may or may not give the same result as y opponent x so here it's uh, mentioned that the order in this situation matters because it's not important it's not necessary that x opponent y will give you the same result as y opponent x so this is very important which one you are putting it first and which one is uh, the second one because mm, it can alter the result the rows in truth table list all possible sequences of truth value for n opponents so if we have n opponents then for that uh, the rows are actually giving the possible um, sequences if it is true false or it is false true or if it is false false or if it is true true so what it is it will give you this uh, mm, sequence of possibilities because you we understand we fix it in the beginning that propositional logic is based on true false so we can only give this solution specify a result for each sequence and then for sure if there are multiple um, opponents then we will say that mm, there will be a sequence for, uh, as it is in uh, x y and then uh, y x so it can be different and then for that mm, all op possible result will be mentioned here hence there are two power n rows in the table for n opponents so if we have one opponent then there will be only two rows because n is one and then we will have two rows if there are two opponents then the rows will be four so this is very um, easy to understand that mm, that the rows will uh, will be as much as uh, the rows will be uh, actually mm, power of 2 power of n yahan par basic understanding kar rahe hain ki truth table hum kaise banayenge simple agar hamare paas opponents hain to wo opponents ki jo values aa rahi honge resulting values aa rahi hongi true false ki form mein to hum simple usko apne truth table mein rakhenge और ट्रूथ ट्रेबल में हमने सीक्वेंस का ख्याल रखना है क्योंकि सीक्वेंस आपके रिजल्ट को अल्टर कर सकता है और फिर हमने ये देखना है कि जो रोज होंगी वो हमें पॉसिबल सीक्वेंस दे रही होगी एन एक्चुअली नंबर ऑफ ओपोनेंट्स हैं कितने ओपोनेंट्स हम यूज कर रहे हैं तो अगर ओपोनेंट्स एक है तो हमारे पास रोज दो बन रही होंगी अगर ओपोनेंट दो हैं तो हमारे पास रोज चार बन रहे होंगे अब हम जाते हैं चंद एग्जांपल्स की तरफ ताकि आपको सही समझ आ जाए देर आर फोर पॉसिबल यूनरी ऑपरेशन वी कैन परफॉर्म फोर पॉसिबल यूनरी ऑपरेशन यूनरी मीन सिंगल ऑपरेशन सो इफ वी हैव अ सिंगल ओपोनेंट एक्स then how many uh, rows there will be 2 power 1 and then there are two rows so we can make only two only the la uh, last of these negation is widely used as a symbol not for the operation mostly we use uh, this x not uh, but there are also uh, other operations uh, that we uh, can use it as a unary operation so if we have a x and the value is true then constant true will be true constant false will be false and then identical or identity will be true and then the negation will be f so if there is a true then there will be a false in case of false is also the same a uh, constant t true will come again true constant f will come f whatever if there is the constant t will give you always t and whatever uh, here is uh, the constant f will give you f 
identity will give you the same thing as if there is f then it will be also f and the negation will always be uh, completely reverse if there is f then it will give you true now we are moving to some binary operation here are the binary operation that are traditionally used normally we use this one so if we have x and y opponent and then we have a sequence so we take it as a y as a true false true false and then x as a true true and false false then what will happen in con uh, in uh, using and operation first of all we need to know this uh, notes notice in a particular that a material imply applications are implies only approximately means the same as English word implies so it's not a uh, hundred uh, percent but it is approximation uh, that this R or which implies means any other binary operator can be constructed from a combination of these along with unary not so if we use a unary not operation so we can also construct other operation uh, by combining different uh, binary operation in here so as we know that if we have true and true then and will give you true and or will also give you true we will use this symbol for or and this symbol for and and then for implies uh, we use or true and then bidirectional we also use it as a tm uh, use t if there is a true false or if we go from this direction then it's f uh, false and true then and will give you false because if either of it is false then and will give you false and if there is or then in any case if there is one true it will give you true so if uh, one is false the other will also become false and in case of bidirectional uh, if one is false the other will also become false because it's bidirectional we also call this one as a uh, XR if uh, you know that if we have both the same if there is a true true it will give you true if there are both false then it will also give you false so we also call it XR operation and uh, if there is a difference between it then it will also give you false so uh, you uh, you can understand this uh, truth table and it's for uh, logical operation so what kind of expression can we use all logical expression can be computed with some combination of and with the symbol or the symbol and not with this symbol operation for example logical implication can be computed in this way so if we want to take a negation of x then you can say that it is in this uh, in this situation it you we can use it that if there is a true negation of true is false if we have x uh, true so negation of true is false if we have false negation of false is true and then if we have false negation of false is false and then we can combine it we can also take negation of x and y so both we can use it but what's the negation of it so in this case uh, it's true if we have true and false then it becomes false if we have false and true then it becomes true if we have false and false then it will become true so if if we see here mm, this uh, uh, equivalent or uh, operation uh, are the same as if we are using it uh, x not or x uh, not operation and operation if we combine both then it becomes similar to 
the equivalent operation. Now you'll go through some uh, pros and cons, some positive and negative points of propositional logic. We can we understand in the basic uh, basic understanding was that propositional log logic is declarative. We need to declare it into some um, fixed uh, um, symbols, and then we we can use only that symbols because um, because to understand and to keep it in uh, our uh, knowledge base. Propositional logic allows partial disjunctive negated information unlike most data structure and databases. So in this case we can have the information based on uh, some disjunction, some negation. So this is also one positive aspect of propositional logic that we can keep this kind of information Instead, uh, as if we have it in a data structure, we cannot keep most of uh, this operation and uh, this kind of data. So in this case, it's uh, quite helpful. Propositional logic is compositional. How it is, we can use combinations of uh, different uh, opponents and then we can combine it, we can uh, use it uh, in this case. So if we take an example meaning of uh, uh, B11 uh, if there is a breeze then uh, if we use a uh, AND operator we say that P12 uh, is actually there is a pit in P12 if we are taking as a, a WOMS example is derived from meaning of B11 if there is a uh, breeze in one one uh, room then uh, and there is a pit in one two so we can take this uh, meaning just by understanding the basic uh, knowledge if we have this knowledge that there is a breeze in one one uh, so mm, there is a possibility that there is a pit in one two so that's why we can combine this. So we can make a compositional um, sentence, sentences. Meaning is proportional logic is context independent. Unlike natural language where meaning depends on contexts. We know that uh, most, of, uh, most of the time if we are talking about something we need to understand the context of it that there, there is some context and then uh, we take the meaning of any sentence because if we don't know the context maybe we can take wrong impression wrong understanding of it so in in uh, propositional logic it's context um, uh, independent we don't have any context of uh, of the previous uh, situation or of the state or of uh, of the sentences so we just keep only mm, the current situation so in so it is a, a kind of a negative point in this situation but anyhow the basic one we can count it on uh, as a negative point is propositional logic has a very limited expressive power so it's very difficult because it has very limited mm, uh, symbol limited possibilities that you can express everything unlike natural language uh, that is cannot say pits cause breeze in uh, adjacent squares except by writing one sentence for each square so we cannot say this that if there is a breeze coming out this means that there is a pit adjacent to it we cannot say this because we need to have only in form of true and false so if we are using propositional logic our language uh, symbols are very limited we cannot represent most of the things in our propositional logic or if you want to do it then we will need to do it in every situation in every state and that will be very difficult uh, it will make our life very uh, difficult to make all the sentences for all the rooms. 
So, as we have some problem in, uh, in propositional logic, we will move to first order logic. In propositional logic, as I mentioned, uh, that uh, propositional logic assumes the world contains facts. So, there are only facts and these facts can be either true or false. But what happens in first order logic, like natural language, assume the world contains object relations and function and operations. So, we can also say functions are like uh, properties. We can use it as a properties or we can also say it's functions. So, in first order logic, now we have multiple things. How we can say it? We think about everything as an object. So, if we have an object, objects are like people, houses, number, colors, baseball game, war, or any other kind of uh, things we call it as an object. And then what will happen if we have objects? Then uh, these, uh, there will be relationship between different objects. So, the relationship we can define as red, round, prime, brother of, bigger than, part of, comes between. So, there can be many possible relations. Then what are the functions? Father of, can be father of, best friend of, one more than, uh, plus, these are what? Actually, these are functions. So, if we have a sentence which says, Evil King John ruled England in 1200 um, century. So, we can take this as a, if we take this in a, a first order logic, then we can make objects. What are the objects? John, England and 1200. And then what are the relation? Ruled. Uh, he was ruling on England. And then uh, we can say properties, uh, if we are not using functions, then what are the properties of king? Evil and he was also a king. So, hum yaha par basic understanding karte hai first order logic ki, ke uh, propositional logic mein hum ne simple ye kaha tha ke har ek cheez jo hai, world jo hai, wo facts hai. Facts ka majmua hai, either wo true ho sakti hai, false ho sakti hai. لیکن وہاں پر ہمارے پاس کافی مسئلہ آ رہے تھے کیونکہ ہر ایک چیز تو حقیقت میں اس طرح نہیں ہے اس وجہ سے ہم وہ لینگویج فالو نہیں کر سکتے تھے کافی ڈیفیکلٹیز آ رہے تھی کچھ سچویشنز میں تو بہتر ہے کہ ہم اسی کو فالو کریں کیونکہ وہ ہمیں بہت ایزی علی انڈرسٹیننگ ہو جاتی ہے لیکن پھر ہم نے دیکھا کہ اگر ہم فرسٹ آرڈر لوجک یوز کرتے ہیں نیچرل لینگویج کی طرح تو اس میں ہم دیکھتے ہیں ہمارے پاس آبجیکٹس ہوتے ہیں most of the time آبجیکٹس ہوتے ہیں اور ان آبجیکٹس کے آپس میں کچھ ریلیشنز ہوتے ہیں اگر لوگ ہیں تو لوگوں کے آپس میں کچھ ریلیشنز ہوں گے وہ ایز ای فرنڈز ہوں گے وہ ایز ای ایز ای پیرنٹس ہوں گے ایز ای سبلنگز ہوں گے اس طرح کے بہت سارے ریلیشنز ہو سکتے ہیں پھر ان کے فنکشنز ہوں گے کہ وہ کسی کا بائی ہے وہ کسی کا بیسٹ فرنڈ ہے وہ کسی کا والد ہے تو اس طرح کے فنکشنز ہوں گے اور ان فنکشنز کو وہ کیسے پرفارم کرے گا ہم نے اگر ایک چھوٹا سا سنٹنس ہم لیتے ہیں ایول کنگ جان رول انگلینڈ ان ٹویلو ہنڈرڈ سنچری دن ہاو وی کن ٹیک دو اوبجیکٹس ریلیشن این پروپرٹیز آف ایٹ وی کن میک دس آؤٹ آف مینی سنٹنسز سو لوجک ان جرنل وٹ ایٹ ایز وٹ ایگزس ان دو ورلڈ we know that there are many things which exist in the world this is true so propositional logic how we will use this propositional logic fact hold or do not hold whatever facts there are they can exist or they cannot exist but in uh, first order logic objects with the relation between them that they hold or not hold so there are objects they have a relationship in between and these relationship can either hold or it cannot hold. So, now if we go to the, to the table that we discuss in the first few slides. So, we have propositional logic and now uh, we can say that uh, it's only facts here and 
in first order logic we have facts objects and relation and uh, these both can be either true or false or can be unknown what is the syntax of uh, first order logic basic elements so constant symbol we can use some uh, symbols which we say that they are constant we cannot change it because they are objects uh, stands for object that is King John 2 UCL or any uh, other kind of um, uh, objects that we can use they are called constant symbol predicted symbol what is predicted symbol stands for relations uh, as we say that the objects will have relations so we can say that there is a predicted symbol in between brother Richard uh, so Richard and John are brother so we can say that this is one predicted symbol uh, we can use it uh, uh, greater than so 3 is greater than 2 uh, it can also give you a result as a true or false function symbol uh, stand for function we use different kind of function uh, square root of 3 left leg of John mm, so John the king so what we can say that we can use different kind of functions um, hum, hum, teen basic elements hai hamare paas ek ko hum kehte hai constant symbol jo objects ke liye use hoga hum different objects uh, ko jis tarah hum represent karenge usko hum kehenge ki constant symbol hai predicted symbol kya hoga jo relationship hai unka aapas mein objects ka usko hum kehenge ki predicted uh, symbol hai aur functions jo bhi hum uske upar extra perform kar rahe hain ke ya square root le rahe hain ya usko addition kar rahe hain ya is tarah ki koi cheez to wo hum kahenge ki unke functions hain syntax of first order logic basic elements we need to have uh, different uh, elements there are a lot but we just collect few of it constant we have king john to ucl or different kind of um, constant objects we can use then we have uh, predictors brother greater than less than these kind of thing functions we have uh, square root left leg off so there are different kind of uh, functions we can use we have variables x y a b there are different kind of variables then we need to have connectives uh, different kind of connectives not implies to greater than equal to uh, these kind not equal to uh, implies to or bi-directional we can call these uh, connectives then we have uh, equality what equal means if we have it on both sides they have the same meaning and then quantifiers um, for all and uh, there exist um, some so we can use these kind of quantifiers what is uh, relations we will understand that uh, some relations are properties they state some facts about a single object a round ball is round prime so seven number if it is prime so we have some properties we uh, all the relations we cannot call it that they have some uh, specific uh, relation meaning we can also say that they can be properties uh, because if you remember uh, in uh, the King John mm, we say that uh, we can also use properties instead of functions an array uh, relation state facts about two or more objects married John uh, comma Mary larger than three comma two and so we can also say that uh, we can use an array relation in between two things. Mm, this relationship can be um, by uh, mean more than mm, two or two. We can use it. Some relations are functions. Their value is another object. So if we are using uh, some functions, this function uh, can be a relation and this relation will give you one object because if we add uh, plus two and three it will give you one object father uh, dying so then we can say that if it if he is a father or if he is not 
If we go for uh, atomic sentences, what it means, atomic sentences, because we will use uh, this kind of um, terminology, so for that we need to understand what term is. Term is actually a function and we can use term 1 until term n or constant or variable. A logical expression that refers to an object. Uh, left leg of Richard. So, यहाँ पर हम ये बताना चाह रहे हैं कि term जो है वो actually functions होंगे, वो भी कोई constant uh, जो होंगे हमारे पास uh, objects, उनको represent करने के लिए जो expressions हम use करते हैं, तो हम ये कहेंगे कि ये uh, हमारे पास different किस्म के terms हैं. इसके दो किस्में हो सकती हैं कांस्टेंट सिंबल्स हो सकते हैं टेबल कंप्यूटर ये डिफरेंट किस्म के जो जो ऑब्जेक्ट्स हैं इसको हम यूज कर सकते हैं और ये एज अ फंक्शन सिंबल भी यूज हो सकते हैं लेफ्ट लेग स्क्वायर रूट एंड प्लस देयर आर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ फंक्शंस दैट वी कैन यूज इट एज अ टर्म सो व्हेन वी से टर्म देन इट्स अ लॉजिकल एक्सप्रेशन रेफर्स टू द ऑब्जेक्ट ये एक किस्म की एब्रिवेशंस हम यूज़ करेंगे हम एक किस्म की जो अल्फाज हैं उनको यूज़ करेंगे किसी भी ऑब्जेक्ट को रिप्रेजेंट करने के लिए या उसकी तरफ हम जो ब्रेफर करेंगे एटॉमिक सेंटेंस क्या होगे प्रेडिक्ट्स टर्म वन अंटेल टर्म एन और टर्म वन इक्वल टू टर्म टू एन एटॉमिक सेंटेंस इस फॉर्म फ्रॉम अ प्रेडिक्टेड सिंबल्स फॉलोड बाय लिस्ट ऑफ टर्म्स सो इफ वी हैव अ लिस्ट ऑफ टर्म्स एंड वी ट्राई टू यूज सम काइंड ऑफ सिंबल्स देन वी से दैट दिस इज अ एटॉमिक सेंटेंस सम एग्जांपल्स आर हियर लार्जर देन टू कॉमा थ्री इज फॉल्स बिकॉज uh, we have two terms, two objects, and then we want to find out um, what's the predict, what's the answer of it. In this situation, it gives us false. Brother of Mary, comma um, pity. So it's also false because uh, Mary is not uh, brother of uh, pity. Married uh, father Richard, mother John could be true or false. So we don't know if uh, father of Richard and mother of John, uh, they are married together or not. Because John is a brother of uh, Richard, but in this situation, we are not sure about their parents. So if they are married or if they are from the same mother, father. So in this situation, uh, we say that it atomic sentence is what we predict from different terms, different objects. Function do not state facts and from no sentences. Uh, there is a possibility that uh, the, the functions, mm, they are not going to represent any sentence. Brother Pet refers to John, his brother, and is neither true nor false. So brother uh, Pet refers to John uh, in some situation if, if we, you are, we are using this then we don't know the reality that's why we are not sure in this situation so brother of pet brother of uh, we also call this as a function so in the, in the last um, line uh, it can be a binary relationship or or we can also use it as a multiple of functions. So in here we have binary uh, pit and uh, brother pit. So uh, this is a function but this one is uh, one object. So in this situation we want to find out if he is a brother or not. So in this situation mm, we can use multiple of uh, mm, terms. Now we can make complex sentences. We make complex sentences with connectivities, just like propositional logic. 
If we are using propositional logic, as I mentioned in the earlier slide, that we can use uh, opponents, and then if we have different opponents, we can, if we add the negation, we can also make uh, different complex uh, mm, sentences. So in the same way, we can also here make different or complex sentences. So uh, here is a negation, and uh, we say that if uh, uh, there is a binary uh, relation for brother because brother will be in between uh, two objects or two mm, person so that's why we need to have uh, uh, two inputs of it one ob one object is uh, Richard and other is John but we want to find out if if uh, Richard is a uh, left leg or not mm, because this is left leg is one one uh, rank in uh, in uh, the last king uh, kingship or kingdom uh, system so function this is one kind of function we can also call it and then we have uh, connectives which is uh, uh, and or this is or um, democrat or bush so we can combine this as a as another uh, uh, sentence so we can combine different sentences and we can use uh, different logical um, operations and then we can make complex sentences um agar iske aur examples dekhein to brother richard john ye hamare paas binary hai hum dekhna chahte hain ki kya brother john aur richard ट्रू है कि नहीं तो हमने यहाँ पर इसकी एंड कंडीशन लगा दी किंग रिचर्ड और किंग जॉन हम यहाँ देख रहे हैं कि क्या रिचर्ड जो है क्या वो किंग है या जो जॉन है वो किंग है किंग जॉन इम्प्लाइज टू नॉट किंग रिचर्ड जॉन जो है अगर तो जॉन किंग है तो फिर किंग रिचर्ड जो है वो जॉन नहीं होगा लेस देन प्लस वन टू कॉमा फोर सो हम ये चेक करना चाहते हैं कि क्या वन टू को हम प्लस करें और क्या वो मतलब थ्री क्या थ्री फोर से लेस देन है कि नहीं एंड ग्रेटर देन वन टू क्या वो फिर वन और टू को हम आपस में चेक कर रहे हैं कि क्या वो ग्रेटर देन है कि नहीं एक दूसरे से Semantics are the same as in a propositional logic. हम जैस जो semantics हम use कर रहे थे propositional logic में हम same उसी तरह यहाँ पर भी first order logic में भी use कर रहे होंगे। यहाँ पर variables क्या होंगे? हम वो भी देखते हैं अभी person John is true or false because we give it as a single argument John. अब जब हम पर्सन देखते हैं कि क्या जॉन पर्सन है कि नहीं है तो वो हमें एक सिंगल वैल्यू देगा या ट्रू होगी या फॉल्स होगी तो ये हमारे पास एक वेरिएबल हो गया वी कैन बी मच मोर फ्लेक्सिबल इफ वी अलाउ वेरिएबल्स मच व्हिच कैन टेक वन वैल्यू इन अ डोमेन दैट इज ऑल पर्सन एक्स ऑल इन टीजर आई एट्सेट्रा अब अगर हम बजाय इसके के उसमें एक वैल्यू दें जो हमें ट्रू फॉल्स में आंसर दे तो हम उसमें अगर मल्टीपल वेरिएबल्स देना चाहें ताकि हमें पता चले कि हम सब के लिए यूज़ करना चाहें तो क्या वो हमारे लिए पॉसिबल होगा कि नहीं तो ये हमारे लिए बेहतर तरीका होगा क्योंकि हम फर्स्ट ऑर्डर लॉजिक में ये कर सकते हैं ऑल पर्सन एक्स ऑल इंटीजर आई को हम यूज़ कर सकते हैं कि जितने भी एक्स पर्सन हैं उसकी कोई प्रॉपर्टी हो या जितने भी इंटीजर हैं उनकी कोई प्रॉपर्टीज हम चेक करना था चाहे एग्जांपल यहाँ पर कैन यह है ये है कि कैन स्टेट रूल लाइक अ पर्सन एक्स एम्प्लाइज टू हैज हैड एक्स और इंटीजर आई एम्प्लाइज टू इंटीजर प्लस आई कॉमा वन सो वी से दैट इफ इफ अ पर्सन एक्स इज अ पर्सन इफ इट हैज अ हेड if x has a head then we say that it is also uh, we call it as a person so 
we can use x as a for all or we can also use x as a mm, not for all so in this situation if we are using a universal quantifier you will understand much more easily um, this uh, is a symbol for for all so allows us to make statement about all objects that have uh, certain properties if we mm, are going to use this uh, symbol this is going to make a uh, very uh, this is going to make our uh, language very easy so we can use we can combine a lot of thing in one sentence can now state journal rules so for for this situation we need to understand few basic rules for all x king x implies to person x so all the kings uh, they are uh, all x kings they need to be persons for all x persons x implies to has head of all x so x is a variable and for all x if they will be person if they have a head so in this situation for all i integer implies to integer plus i into 1 so if if i is any kind of value which is a number uh, if we can plus it with 1 then this means that it is also integer note that for all x king and person x is not correct so we cannot use and in between for all uh, this would imply that all object x are king and are people because we know that if we are using n then this means that all kings are uh, persons and we can also say that all persons are king which is not true for all king x implies person x is the correct way to say this so we can only use this way because all kings x are persons and uh, mm, uh, we can also say uh, existential quantifier uh, we which means there exist there are some uh, x such that so this is the basic uh, mm, symbol that we will use it and we can also use this for for many situations allows us to make statement about some object without naming it so as we are using uh, variables so we don't need to name it and we can use a lot of sentences there exist x king x so we can say that there are some x that they are king there exist x lives in john castle x so if uh, there is a person there is a person John who mm, uh, he can also live as a person is living mm, in castle so John can also live in castle in case of integer there exist integer that are greater than i comma zero so for sure there exists some not that and is a natural connective to use with uh, there exist and implies is the natural connective to use with uh, for all so uh, this and we use it uh, for uh, existential uh, quantifier and if implies we use it mostly in our mm, there exist ab hum dekhte hain ki hum jitne bhi quantifiers hain kya unko hum combine kar sakte hain to kyunki hum first order logic ki taraf ja rahe hain aur humne ye dekha ki hum sentences ko use kar sakte hain objects ki properties aur unke facts aur unke jo functions hain ki basis pe aur unke jo aapas mein relationships hain 
तो हम यहाँ पर ये भी देख सकते हैं कि हम जो क्वांटिफायर्स हैं उनको आपस में कंबाइन भी कर सकते हैं फॉर ऑल एक्स देर एग्जिस्ट वाई लव्स एक्स एंड वाई सो फॉर श्योर फॉर एवरी वन ऑल एक्स देर इज सम वन वाई हु लव्स देम दिस इज वेरी सिंपल हम इन uh, दोनों को कंबाइन कर सकते हैं हम यहाँ पर भी एग्जिस्टेंशनल को भी कंबाइन कर सकते हैं देर एग्जिस्ट वाई फॉर ऑल एक्स लव्स एक्स वाई देर इज सम वन वाई हु लव्स एवरी वन सो इट्स इन अनदर वे अराउंड क्लियर विद पेरेंथिस वी आर यूजिंग पेरेंथिस देन इट्स वेरी ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट देर एग्जिस्ट वाई and then we use for all x loves x into uh, comma y this uh, x loves y uh, but for all of it so this means that if we come out from the parenthesis then we can understand that there exist some y's connection between quantifiers uh, we can use different kind of connection asserting that all x have properties p is the same as asserting that does not exist any x that doesn't have the property p so we can also use uh, uh, different kind of connection and uh, this connection can be uh, uh, in bidirectional so we can say that uh, there exists some p uh, or we can if we look to this example for all x likes x comma 271 class so which what implies uh, in bidirectional not uh, there exist not x and there uh, not like x 271 class so we can use all x they like 271 class but if we want to use uh, existential then we put not in it in effect for all is a conjunction over the universe of object uh, there exist uh, is a disjunction over the universe of the object thus de morgan rules can be applied hum yahan par dekhte hain ke in dono mein क्या डिफरेंस है बेसिकली हम जब भी फॉर ऑल यूज करेंगे तो हम कंजक्शन यूज करेंगे और जब भी हम देर एग्जिस्ट यूज करेंगे तो हम कहेंगे कि देर इज अ डिसजंक्शन तो इस वजह से हम डी मॉर्गन लॉ को भी यूज कर सकते हैं डी मॉर्गन लॉ में सिंपली क्या है कि जहां पर और है उसको एंड में ले और जहां पर एंड है उसको और में ले और उसके साथ निगेशन लगा दें तो हम देखते हैं यहाँ पर पी एंड क्यू है तो हम जब निगेशन लगाते हैं हर एक के साथ दरमियान में और लगा दें और फिर और ऑल निगेशन ले लें तो वो एम्प्लाइज टू हो जाएगा वो इक्वल हो जाएगा हम सेम इसी तरह पर अगर हमारे पास पी और क्यू है और क्यू है तो भी हम अगर उसको रिवर्स कर देते हैं और साथ में निगेशन लगा दें तो हम ये कहेंगे कि ये एग्जैक्टली exactly सेम चीज़ है सेम इसी तरह हम दूसरे डिमोर्गन्स के जो लॉ हैं उसमें भी कर सकते हैं अब हम जब जाते हैं जनरलाइज डिमोर्गन रूल्स की तरफ तो उसमें भी हम यही करेंगे कि हम उसके साथ निगेशन लगा देंगे हर एक के साथ इंडिविजुअली तो वो भी हमें सिंपली उसका रिवर्स देगा और साथ में हम करेंगे क्या कि हम जो हमारे पास एग्जिस्टेंशनल अगर तो फॉर ऑल है तो हम उसको देर एग्जिस्ट में कन्वर्ट कर देंगे और सेम अगर हमारे पास देर एग्जिस्ट है तो हम उसको कन्वर्ट कर देंगे फॉर ऑल में और उसको उसकी हम निगेशन ले लेंगे तो इसका मतलब ये हो कि हम टीम ऑर्गन लॉ को अप्लाई कर सकते हैं जो उनके रिलेशन हैं आपस में अब मैं कंक्लूड करूँगा आज के लेक्चर को कि आज हमने कौन कौन सी चीज़ें कवर की हम बेसिक देख रहे थे कि लॉजिक क्या है उसकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग देखी हमने फिर हमने कुछ प्रोपोजिशनल लॉजिक देखी कि हम अगर आ, कोई भी वर्ल्ड है उसके उसको कन्वर्ट करना चाहते हैं सेंटेंसेस की फॉर्म में उसको डेटाबेस नॉलेज बेस में हम रखना चाह रहे हैं तो उसको हम कैसे करेंगे प्रोपोजिशनल लॉजिक की बेस पे हम कर सकते हैं उसमें ये बताया गया कि 
ہر ایک چیز جو ہے ایز افیکٹ ہے وہ یا ٹرو ہے یا فالس ہے اس وجہ سے ہم نے انڈرسٹینڈ کیا ڈفرینٹ ایگزامپلس دے کے اس کے پھر ہم نے ٹھوتھ ٹیبل دیکھا ہم اس کو کیسے ڈیزائن کریں گے اب ہم نے اس کے بعد دیکھا کہ اس کے جو پروز اینڈ کانس تھے پروپوزیشنل لوجک کے وہ کیا تھے ہم اسی کو پھر ہم نے بیس بنا کر ہم فرسٹ آرڈر لوجک کی طرف گئے کہ ہم کیونکہ بہت سار چیزوں کو ہم بائنری ڈیسیجن نہیں لے سکتے اس کی ٹرو فالس میں نہیں کر سکتے اس وجہ سے ہم اس کو فرسٹ آرڈر لوجک میں لاتے ہیں اب فرسٹ آرڈر لوجک میں ہم دیکھتے ہیں کہ ہر ایک جو ورلڈ ہے اس ورلڈ میں ہر ایک چیز کو ہم ایز آبجیکٹ دیکھتے ہیں پھر اس کے کچھ ریلیشن شپس ہیں آپس میں اور کچھ فنکشنز اور پروپرٹیز ہیں اس کے تو پھر ہم نے یہ دیکھا اس کے بعد کہ سنٹیکس جو ہے فرسٹ آرڈر لوجک کا وہ کیا ہے کون سے ایلیمنٹس ہمیں چاہیے ہوتے ہیں کون سے آپریشنز ہم یوز کر سکتے ہیں اس کے بعد ہم نے یہ دیکھا کہ ہم ایٹومک اور کمپلیکس سنٹینسز کیسے جنریٹ کرتے ہیں ایٹومک سنٹینس کا کیا مطلب ہے پہ ہے اس میں جو ہمارے پاس ڈیفرنٹ قسم کے ٹرمز ہے اس کا کیا مطلب ہے ہم کیسے کمبینیشنز کر سکتے ہیں اگر ہمارے پاس آپریشنز ہیں ڈیفرنٹ پھر ہم نے یہ دیکھا کہ کنجکشنز بیٹوین کوانٹیفائرز ہمارے پاس جتنے بھی کوانٹیفائرز تھے تیر ایگزیسٹ فور آل ہم نے یہ دیکھا کہ ان کے آپس میں کیا ریلیشن شپ ہے ہم ٹی مورگن لاغ کو کیسے یوز کرتے ہوئے ہم جرنلائز کر سکتے ہیں کوانٹیفائرز کے اوپر تو آج ہم نے یہ انڈرسٹینڈ کیا اور انشاءاللہ ہم نیکس لیکچر میں اسی ٹاپک کو کنٹینیو کریں گے اور ہم کچھ اور نالج ریپریزنٹیٹیو لینگویجز کو انڈرسٹینڈ کریں گے اب تک کے لیے اتنا ہی انشاءاللہ نیکس لیکچر میں ملیں گے اللہ حافظ